<clears throat> Hello YouTube and welcome back to another uh, music talk video. I just made that noise. But um okay, so today we're gonna be talking about um selling out. Selling out one of the biggest uh, phrases used in music, um, well, at least, in terms of, like, music that isn't mainstream, or musicians, or artists, or bands that aren't mainstream. Um, I never understood what it was to sell out, because, I mean, mm, I, I always thought that it was something a band was aiming towards. Selling out shows and, you know, whatnot. So that's not what I, I... That's what I don't understand. Why is it considered a bad thing among fans who have been there from the beginning to see them sell out? I mean, isn't selling out shows good or something? I mean... I, I, there's some, um, let's go to Metallica, because a lot of people say they sold out. Um, well, with Metallica, you know, you first started out with their album, Kill em All, which is an amazing album. Anybody who is a metal enthusiast has to listen to at least the Four Horsemen, Whiplash, and Seek and Destroy, I think are the three best songs on there or no hit the lights also yeah hit the lights is also really good kill them all came out in what 83 um so you know and then after that uh they came out with ride the lightning and as soon as you know fans who you know listened to Kill Em All, listened to the first, like, second of Ride the Lightning, they said, oh, they're, they sold out, they're, they're going acoustic, like the glam scene or whatever, and, and then, you know, Metallica just, like, made them all look like idiots when, you know, the actual heaviness of Fight Fire with Fire came on, you know, the opening track to Kill Em All. I not Kill Em All, Ride right Lightning. You know, they really killed them all there. <laughs> but, you know. And then, you know, Master of Puppets, which is arguably their best album, and arguably the best metal album ever. And then you have Injustice for All, and then you get to the Black album. And that's where a lot of fans started to lose interest, like the very beginning, because I watched, I think it was either a Metallica Behind the Music or um, The History of Metal, both VH1 things. And one guy said that, you know, he had, you know, he had, you know, been listening to Metallica, you know, all his, um, you know, all throughout their career. He had been following them for their whole career and, um... Everyone in his family hated them. He hated Metallica and their music except him. And and uh, uh, that when the Black Album came out, he found that his sister, who listened to a bunch of like boy bands and popish stuff, ended up asking to borrow his Metallica Black Album. You know his, and so he started questioning his fandom because. You know, all of a sudden they're going in a pop direction. Well, I mean, it's, is it really a bad thing that a band is trying to explore its, you know, musical, you know, expand its musical, oh, I don't know what you want to call it, um, I don't know. Horizon, isn't it? Isn't it a good thing for a band to do that instead of 
playing the same old stuff over and over again. Even Megadeth did that. After Rust in Peace, they said, well, we've reached the height of what we had been doing, so now let's take a different route. Let's go slower and, you know, heavier, you know? And even Slayer did that. After Rain and Blood, they slowed their pace down because because they had reached... They said if we were to go any faster, well, I think it was from the guy from a guy from Napalm Death who said it. But regardless, they said because it would have been confusing for Slayer to go faster than what had been set previously. So every band has to, you know, start checking out its horizons when it's maxed out everything else, you know. And it kind of, well, I can't say that because I never get bored with metal music. But, you know, I guess for some people it might be boring to listen to the same things over and over again. Now, that being, and then, you know, Metallica went to load and they cut their hair and they called them sellouts because they were cutting their hair. Even though what Kirk Hammett said, he said Metallica is about the music, not the length of their hair, which makes sense, you know? Who cares how long their hair is? I believe James Hetfield is bald now. I know Lars is. I think, I'm pretty sure James Hetfield shaved his head recently, but I'm not sure about that. I'm, I'm just going off of one picture that I happened to run across. But, maybe he lost a bet. <laughs> but, um, so, you know, and, and then Reload came out, and then Sane Anger, of course, and he said, oh, it's too mainstream. You know, that's where a lot of people cut it off. Because most people said because they sold out. Now it's okay if you don't like the albums like, you know, St. Anger, Load and Reload because, you know, they're not the original Metallica style, you know. Even the Black Album sort of stuck to the old formula. Not really, but it was, their sound was there, you know. It was like the sound from Injustice for All moved to play something different, you know, and then he had Load, which was more of a, a country grunge, and then he had Reload, which was like grunge, and then he had St. Anger, which was like mainstream heavy metal. Um, and it's okay if you don't like them, because if you like those albums, because, you know, they're just not your type, they're not, you know, the, not what you're used to or you know whatever but when you go calling them sellouts because they're not doing what you you expect them to do you know what then join you make your own band and do that and, and you know you know you can conform to your fans or whatever Metallica is not out for their fans they've made that clear several times look at Lulu all right they're not out there for the you know, praise of their fans. They're out there to write. A lot of people say they're out there to make the money. You know, I don't know. But what I see is they're trying to expand their musical horizons. You know, they they've done the thrash metal. They've done you know the country and the grunge and the you know the mainstream heavy metal and. Um, to tell you the truth, now, <laughs> let's get one thing straight here. When I first listened to Metallica, I listened to, the first song I ever listened to is Master of Puppets. And the song, other songs I knew besides Master of Puppets were Ride the Lightning, For Whom the Bell Tolls, The Four Horsemen, Metal Militia, and, um, and Justice for All. I didn't know what One or Enter Sandman were. I didn't, I didn't even find out about it until, like, like, I, I didn't find out about it until one of my friends pointed it out, you know, and I listened, I, you know, came across Metallica listening to that stuff, saying that I actually like their, I like most of their Black Album songs. The Black Album is actually my least favorite Metallica album. But, um, I like, 
I like load. I like reload. I like staying in anger. And I'm not afraid to admit that I like Lulu. And I also like Death Magnetic because I really liked the um the awesomeness of Death Magnetic. It was it was awesome to me. You know. But yeah, I'm not afraid to admit that I like Lulu. My favorite songs include um Brandenburg Gate, The View, Iced Honey, Junior Dad, um, one more. I can't remember the name of it. Um, I can't remember. It was like 11. Oh, uh, Dragon. Dragon. Yeah, that's right. I like all those songs from Lulu. Of course, that's not nearly the... I haven't even listened to the full of the album in its entirety yet. Because I've been really stuck on the... And I'm not... I'm, again, I'm not a Metallica fanboy. Because I'm more stuck on... Uh, Megadeth's album 13 which I think is better and you know of course I I'm still obsessed with Endgame um which is you know Megadeth's album from like I don't know 2000 2010 I think or whatever and of course I like Anthrax's new album Worship Music I really like that album I usually go to those first but I like Lulu there I'm not saying it's better than you know I, it's not my most favorite album with Metallica's by no means but I like it I like where they went with it even though Lou Reed's vocals and <clears throat> lyric writing style is completely different but you get used to it after a while it's one of those albums that which I think you have to warm up to but yeah selling out um, I see as kind of a good thing for a band because what band doesn't want to sell out stadiums? You know, it's like a, it's a, it's a band person's dream. I would think like being in a band, you would want to sell out giant stadiums, you know, because then you know, holy crap, I have all these fans now. You know, it's like I don't understand why people would say selling out is such a bad thing. Um, and, it, and the same goes for Megadeth. I mean, I like Risk. In fact, my, uh, I don't know my least favorite Megadeth album because I don't know all of them pretty well, very well, but, um, I know a lot of their old stuff. I know, well, n n I'm not saying I know, oh, I, what I'm saying is that when you ex when you get a new album by a band and you expect it to be the same thing and the same thing as what's preceded it and you know the band enough to well enough to know to know that they aren't very uh they are aren't very uh what's the word i'm anyway they, they're inconsistent then you shouldn't expect them to make an album that sounds the same from the last one because it most likely won't and when you call them sellouts you know especially they tell you know they say yeah we sell out every stadium every show we play we sell out and, you know, I, you should be proud of them. Not, oh, they're, they're bad now. They're, they're no good. They're, you know, like, I, one guy said they're, Metallica is the most benign metal band in the world. Look, they're going to come out with a really good album, and everyone is just going to eat it. Like, eat their own poop or something. I know I'm going to get a laugh from... A certain user who may have made it this far in the video but that's beside the case so yeah that's um uh, that's my video for today selling out you know tell me what you think about selling out me personally I think it's a good thing but hey you tell me
Um, 